Here we have some word problems that involve quadratic equations. The first one says, an arrow shot into the air is modeled by this equation, y equals 96t minus 16t squared. Before we go any further, you should realize that if there's a negative sign in front of the coefficient for the squared term, you're going to have a downward opening parabola. And that makes sense, because when you shoot an arrow in the air, it goes up and then it comes back down. So that looks good. So y equals 96t minus 16t squared feet above the ground, t seconds after it is released. So y is the feet, how the distance it is above the ground, t is the seconds. Graph the equation to find what period of time the arrow is above 128 feet. So we're going to make a little sketch of this. We're not going to make a perfect graph. And um, we should be able to use that to figure out when it's above 128 feet. So what we want to do first is figure out at what points is the arrow 128 feet above the ground. Assuming it gets that high, it's going to be 128 feet at two points, right? One where it comes up and one where it drops back down through 128. If we want to find those two points, we have to plug in 128 for y here and solve for t. It'll, it'll give us two answers. Those, those will be the two points. So let's try that. We have 128 equals 96t minus 16t squared. We can rearrange this a little bit um, to get negative um, 16t squared plus 96t minus 128. I think there's a factor of 16 in there. Yeah, if you took, <clears throat> well, if you took a negative 16 out of there, you would get t squared minus 6t plus 8. You might want to double check that on your calculator, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And this we can factor. So this would be t minus 4 and t minus 2. And those we can solve. Remember, we're setting this equal to 0. So this is t equals 4 and t equals 2. So, to go back to our graph, this point right here is t equals 2, and this point right here is t equals 4. This line represents 128 feet above the ground. So there's our graph, and what we wanted to find is the period of time it's above 128 feet. Well, that's from here to here, from 2 to 4 seconds. So that period of time is 2 seconds long. All right, let's look at this next one. This one is another arrow shot into the air, um, but there's a slightly different thing we need to find. This one says an arrow shot into the air is modeled by the equation y equals negative 3 fourths t squared plus sine t. We've got that negative sign in front of the squared term, so you know you're going to have some kind of downward opening parabola. And it says where y is the height in feet of the arrow above the ground t seconds after it is released. What's the maximum height the arrow reaches? Well, if we have a downward-facing parabola here, the maximum height is going to be the vertex. And there's a really handy formula for finding out the vertex of a parabola. This formula will give you the x-coordinate. If you need the y-coordinate, you've got to plug it back in. Well, in this case, it's not x, it's t, but same difference. So the formula for the vertex, or the x-coordinate of the vertex, is negative b over 2a. And these are the b's and the a's, just like we use for the quadratic formula. So b is the uh, coefficient of the, the x term, or the t term in this case, and a is the coefficient of the squared term. So in this case, it would be negative 9 over 2 times a negative 3 fourths. And let's see, 2 times, well, if you figure this out, you could multiply that by 4. This actually comes out to... Um, positive 6. So our x coordinate is positive 6, but let's think about what this means on our graph. Here's x and y. The 6 is right here, and so this point that the vertex occurs is when x equals 6. What they're asking is what's the height? Well that's going to be our y value here, so we need to find y at this point where x or t equals 6. So what we're going to do is take that 6 and plug it back in up here. So this is going to be y equals negative 3 fourths times 6 squared plus 
9 times 6. So 6 squared is 36. Divide that by 4, you'd get 9 times 3. So that's a negative 27. And a 9 times 6 is a 54. So y equals uh, 27 feet. All right, let's try one more. This one seems pretty complicated or looks pretty complicated, but it's not too bad. It says a dump truck operator considered the following pricing strategy for contract jobs. $360 base charge plus, to ver plus a variable cost that is a function of the number of the hours worked. The cost would be $31 minus 335 times X, where X is the number of hours. The total cost of a contract job would be given by this function. This is the one we need to pay attention to. 360 plus 31x minus 3.35x squared. So there's a quadratic. What this is really saying, if x represents the hours worked and you've got a, a negative sign here, you've got this downward facing parabola. So the cost of the project, uh, the, what he's going to charge, is going to go down if he takes too long to do it. He really wants to charge take this amount of time, because that will give him the most amount of time to get the most amount of money. That would be the maximum of this function for him. But if he takes longer, the amount that, um, that he's going to charge for it is going to go down and down. All right, let's, let's look at this. It says graph a function, and for what value of x will this function be maximized? And that's often what we're looking for here, these maximum values, because they have meaning in the real world. Now, the maximum of this downward-facing parabola happens at the vertex. And remember, the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. And we want to find the value of x when, when it's maximized. So all we have to do is calculate negative b over 2a. So b is 31, a is negative 3.35, so 2 times negative 3.35. And if you crunch that through on your calculator, I think what you're going to get there is x equals 4.6 or so. And is that one of our answers here? Yeah, right there. So that's a little bit of work with uh, using quadratic equations in the real world with these word problems. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.